Look at that, baby. Sexy ass catch can. I have a couple ideas how that's gonna go together. But we also got this. Yeah. And this boy gets to go something like this. So I got the oil pan uh, fitted for an oil return. So that's an AN10 fitting right there basically. And he welded it a little bit lower on the pan than I would have liked. I would have liked it to be like a little bit up higher. But I'm gonna be running a scavenge pump on the initial turbo setup so I'm not too worried about that. A scavenge pump, for you guys who don't know, it's basically like another oil pump after the turbo to pull oil out of the turbo back into the pan. So there's gonna be, there's basically gonna be positive pressure pushing the oil from the turbo back into the pan so I'm like not super worried. I've seen some top mount guys actually just run it straight into the, um, into the oil drain plug with no scavenge pump. So I mean, if that works, this, this should hopefully work. And that way, that fitting doesn't leak oil. So now I should be able to put this pan on, and when I go to turbo the car, all I have to do is pull that little cap off and then run a feed line or a drain line from the turbo to it. So I don't have to fuck with anything. I don't have to pull the oil pan off when I go to boost it. It's all ready to go. And we got the drive shaft back from uh, Oceanside Driveline. They did a damn good job. Rear U-joint was freaking seized before. Like I literally couldn't move it at all. They replaced all of the U-joints, they redid the yoke, new center support bearing, they balanced the whole shaft, and then they put in like a little, a new little bushing back here. Alright, so today we're going to be doing valve cover stuff. I got a brand new gasket here because this gasket, I thought it was good, but it decided to start leaking. I don't know if that's because I didn't put RTV on it or if it's just a bad gasket, but either way I'm not going to risk it. So I got a new valve cover gasket. So we're going to do that, we're going to get the plugs out, and then we're going to flip it over and then torque the main and rod bolts again. Because surprisingly the head bolts were loose, and I'm hoping neither the main or the rod bolts got loose. I don't think the rod bolts... It doesn't really matter that much because I torqued them improperly. I torqued them to 28 foot pounds the first time when it should have been 40. So we're going to torque them back up to 40, which is what they should be. And then we're going to put all that stuff back together. We're going to put this hot boy oil pan back on. Turbo ready oil pan. And then after that's done, lump back in the whip. With that, uh, door squeaking. So this is this is Levi. What's up, guys? He has an E36 and he just started a channel, so I'll leave a link in the description. Go show some love. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. New, trying to grow. Going to be doing a lot of stuff with the car pretty soon. Going to be fucking mad. Get a nice little bead. Those of you guys who don't know, you're supposed to let RTV sit for like 10 minutes before you throw the gasket on on the crest. Put it on. What? You ain't gonna stand around, bro. I'll make you work. <laughs> You'll learn. Still, still new with this. You sure? 180. Flip it around. Okay. There you go. Everyone learns, bro. You learn by doing. I learn by doing. When you do these, you want to sort of start in the middle and sort of work your way out. Just sort of pushing the whole thing down evenly. It's kind of like doing a little legs, you don't want to... Exactly. Alright, valve cover's back on. We gotta flip this bitch. Alright, your turn, brother. Use the same thing. There you go. You put it on that, you fucking send it, bro. Definitely getting one of these. Yeah, those are fucking nice, dude. Uh, there it is. Oh, it's shiny! Get this fucking gasket out of here, bro. Uh, run those two out first. And then... 18. I don't know if I'll be able to crack these with the fucking... You want to put in the same computer? Yeah. Uh, that works. All ten of them. That's like one thing I never thought of was like the quality of gloves. Oh, if yeah. you buy a good quality I rubber have... gloves, dude, those things are fucking twenty bucks a box, but they're so nice to I... use. Like I'll use like a set of those per day at work, and I'm working on cars for nine hours. It's fucking oily as shit. You mean just like one pair will last you the whole day? Yeah. Oh, and when I go through maybe like four or five pairs, just doing one thing on my car. Oh yeah, it's, it's a pain in the ass. Rips and then you and take it's off the like... glove and like one finger's black. And you're just like what? Yeah. Tilt that up. 
on down like that. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy, leaking. I'm just Get fucking it. with you. I'll just set it down. Sixty remains, so none of these should be loose. Just double check. Oh, that one was a little loose. That's sketchy. Alright, so only one of them was loose. What do you have them at before? Uh, 28. Set. So these are going to be loose. Looser. What happened? Was it baffle first, or was this? You right. You right. Yeah. You right. That's, I was wondering you why right. baffle was on top of the oil. Pump. I don't know why people trust me to work on cars, bro. Yeah, does it doesn't matter. But yeah, probably. It does. That that goes through there. Yeah, let's get this guy on and all all on there, bro. He's have a torque spec or? Yeah, 89. 89? 89 inch pounds. <laughs> what? Yeah, 89 inch pounds. The valve cover, the oil pan, and this. I'll get 89. No, you don't use that one. You use the 3 8s. That little guy. This makes sense. Yeah. Learn your tools. It's a, it's a little torque wrench, bro. You, you see? You feel me, bro? We're learning here, boys. I didn't have anyone to help me this shit, bro. I figured all of this shit out on my own. If I had to do it on my own, my engine wouldn't be running. Why do you think I'm rebuilding this one, bro? Because I fucking cracked the blocks. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Speed handles are fucking dope. You take it and just give it one of these, bro. Hard to do with one hand. Yeah. There you go. Speed handle, bro. Okay, this one doesn't work. You just gotta, you just gotta get in the groove with it. All right, we got the tray on because it's fucking Captain Ahab, not him, me. Fucking was trying to put the oil pump on before. Gotta do it right. But now we gotta get this pump skis on. Get under the chain. There we go. And then this has got some dowel pins that needs to go on. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. All right. Let's get some bolts. Here's one. I don't like get used to it. It's kind of weird at first. Yeah? Yeah. 205 up 11. I would start here, here, and then there. What's up, dude? What's up, baby? What's up, my guy? How's life, guy? It's, it's great. I mean, how does running? Fucking good. I know I know they don't know that yet. Fucking so good fucking shit, bro. Mm. Mm. Daddy! Yes! This you'll like, though. Nice and clean. Look at that. What is that? What is that, Merrick? I don't know. What is that? Is that? What is that for, Merrick? <laughs> I don't fucking know. That, my guy is an AN10 fitting for a turbo oil feed. My guy. You fucking like that, bro. Yeet. You fucking like that, bro. I like turbos. They make noises. I like things that make noises. Long Stand here and look pretty. That, those two go there. I don't know, where'd you put that along with? Uh, there's some over here. So with this setup, I won't have to touch the long block in any way for a turbo setup. A turbo will literally be a bolt on. Because you did it preemptively. Because you yeah. did all the work preemptively. Yeah. So when I get the turbo setup on, all I do is take this plug off and just fucking run the line it. That's it. Fun. Fucking chillin', bro. Just got the line, bro. Nice. Give me a little bit of a shimmy, huh? It is no problem. Brother. Alright! <laughs> it's so close. Yeah. She's getting down again? Yeah. Good shit. Alright, all right, there it is. Flip it up, baby. That's not from the bottom, right? Uh, I would start from the top. Oh, and then Which push it. Turn yeah, whatever way you want to turn it, bro. Just get it straight up. Just get it. Yeet! Merrick, help him. Oh, shit. 
There it is. There it is. Just a little bit more. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get some fucking get the safety duck. screwdriver in there, baby. Ooh. No fucking yeah. way. All right, so now, I guess we're throwing this bitch in the car because Merrick's here and Merrick wants to fucking put this shit in the car now. So like literally the fucking minute we decide to start putting the long block in, it starts, it starts fucking raining outside. It's not pouring. It's, 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 it's a light, just, it's a light sprinkle a right now. Get played, son. Yeah. The build will continue. Ooh. Oh, oh, the fucking, I didn't even put a drain plug in, god damn it. That sucks ass. I, I love the noises. I didn't think I'd need a drain plug this soon. Why are you trying to fight, bro? I'm not trying to fight. Do you want to fight? No. I'll kiss you. You fucking you won't. Let's see. Yeah, you will. You've done it before. <laughs> and as I lift it up, pull the red stand off. Oh, it just turned off. Yep. There you go. Like that. Boom, they have star gun. That way. Ah, oh, look at the dryness. If there's a hole in the side mirrors, uh, Levi will show on this side. Pull it over, make sure we don't lower it onto the fuel rail. So when I push it like this? Yeah, just sort of, and sort of move it out of the way. Move it out of the way. Alright, stop. How are we looking on the back harness, Mary? Um, we're past it. Alright, stop. Who doesn't lower under this line? Yeah, okay, alright, stop. Now I can pivot this way and get it onto that mount if you want to lower it. Or you gotta lower it a little more and then you can pivot it and get it right onto that mount. Okay. Bring it back a little bit. Bring it back. Yeah. Um, okay. Where'd that mount move? Oh, it's loose. A little more. Keep going. We're on it. Is the thread sticking through? Yeah. Do it it is? Yeah. Check it. Alright, yeah, that's solid. That was so much faster. I'm saying, now that we got the setup, it's fucking, so it's easier, bro. Faster, holy hell. That took, that took 8 minutes and 50 seconds. You know how long it took us last time? Oh, fucking... Like, 3 hours. To do that? Yeah. <laughs> Just to do that. That, that is all in the prep work. And half of what we had to do was set this bit up properly. And then we had we to had readjust this. We had this. this on the half time of the quarter. Yeah, yeah, and so it was pressing up against this and wasn't giving us enough slack. It wasn't going forward enough. Yeah, we struggled for like two hours. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we finally adjusted this bit too because it, it was all, it was all sh like perpendicular to the ground, you know, or uh, parallel to the ground. Look at this puto. Why do you torque your motor, your, your motor mount? Because I'm a good boy. Because you're a good boy? That's what, I swear, that's what they do for music videos. They just... Can't see shit. Looks like a scene out of Alien. Why I checked. There's like a motor back in this bitch. Less than 30 minutes. There's a fucking motor in this bitch now. That's the last time that I'm ever gonna pull that thing out, hopefully. 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 We're hopefully. getting fast hopefully. at this shit, Fuck. bro. We're getting fast at putting these fucking motors in. Putting them in, yeah. That's a wrap. That's a good looking enchilada, boys. That's a good looking the way we've been here before, boys. You know, when I was at work, I was honestly like, do I even really want to work on this thing today? And I was like, I'm gonna have Levi come over and we're just gonna torque the main and put the oil pan back on. That didn't happen.
fucking put this bitch in. Put the whole thing in there. We fucking sent it, bro. I'm down for that. I am fine with this. We're just like getting so much shit done in each video. It's fucking nice. That is back in, boys. Back in for the last time. So we got a good bit more done tonight than I thought we were initially going to. I kind of wanted to just retorque the main rod bolts and then get the wheel pan back on, but we got the motor back in, which is freaking nice. So like as usual, this build is like coming along a little bit faster than I thought it was going to, which is always freaking sauce. All right, I will see you guys the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I'll see you guys later. Dreaming in the dark We are nothing more than dust